You know my favorite song by now, so stitch, stitch, stitch along, stitch along with me. Happily stitching, we're gonna stitch. Let's stitch along today. Welcome to week number two of the study of determination. And this week we're starting to build it bigger. We're going to do a lot of repeating to be able to get the section done. And it's going to be all about the crisscross. You may want to practice with this particular stitch to get your tension just perfectly. But once you get it, you get it. So without further ado, let's head on into the studio and let's get started. And welcome to week number two of the study of determination. In today's week, we are going to do this section right here. It's a nice, easy repeating. You can see that there's crisscrosses, there's a total of three of them in a row before we convert to something else. So you'll find that this will work out pretty easily. You can follow the color schemes that are available on the written instructions if you want to, or keep it a solid color. You can decide what works for you. So right now, we're going to pick up on round number 13. We also have a crochet diagram available for you to get yourself started on round number 13. Once you do rounds number 13 through 16, uh, you're going to repeat it one more time and then rounds number 13 to 15 once more. So you're going to have a total of three sets of these crisscrosses. So you have one, two, and three. And then after that, you get that done, you're going to pick up and do rounds number 23, 24, and 25. Let's begin number 13 now. As I mentioned in the first week, if you want to keep the colors the same, you just have to slip stitch yourself to the corners. And if you're adding new colors, then you just start in the corner when you go to do that. Round number 13, it's a nice easy round. You're just going to um, chain three and you're going to double crochet into the corner. And then you're going to turn the corner. So chain two and two more double crochet into the corner. So the corners on this particular one will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. The rest of these all the way across are just one double crochet in each stitch all the way. And I will see you at the end of this round. So just make sure that you quit in your corners as I, st as I stated and maybe at the end of the round in a moment. For full transparency reasons, I'm only concentrating on how to get out of a corner and then back into a corner. So when I say to go all the way around, how I finish uh, coming into this of a, of, of a corner is the same instruction. So just uh, make sure that you are paying attention to that. And I am coming all the way around. And I'm just putting one double crochet in each of the stitches right to the very end. Okay, making sure I'm just gapping all my stitches exactly where I need to be and then I'm just going to slip stitch. Now I'm going to keep this color going on so I'm going now on to round number 14. Round number 14 I'm going to slip stitch myself to the corner and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to place one single crochet in there, chain two and one single crochet. So the corners on this round will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Just simply apply one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the next corner and then do the corners as I just said and meet me at the end of the round. This is round number 14. I'm coming all the way around at number 14, just right to the very end. We've already got the corner done. So now I'm going to just slip stitch to the first single crochet and I'm gonna keep this color going, but if you don't want to, then just um, end your color and then start in the corner. In my case, I'm just gonna slip stitch one more over. So I'm going to continue. I'm gonna bring you back to the diagram for round number 15. So round number 15, we're gonna start off in the corner, chain three, one double crochet in, chain two, and two double crochet in. You're going to put in three double crochet in a row before doing these extended double crochets. And right where I'm pointing is the first stitch that this is gonna go into. And then we double crochet into the next one and then we come back into the very first one that leaves the corner. This happens to be the extended um, single crochet. In the future, once you have this repeating done over and over and over, you're going to notice this, that the crisscross always starts right after the corner. Okay, so we'll see that in the future again. Um, as we continue this along. So let's now begin and we are going to carry on to round number 15. Round number 15, let's get started. We're gonna chain three and double crochet into the corner. Chain two and two double crochet. So the corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. When you leave a corner, the first three in a row will each be a double crochet. So we have one, two, 
and three. And now we're gonna do an extended double crochet and we're going to use the bottom piece of the double crochets that are here, all the way down. So if you're not sure which one to use, see where this one's pointing to right here? This is the first one. So when we cross back, we're gonna go into this one. We skip the next one and we go to the third, right there. So we're just going to wrap the hook and you're gonna come into that one. And you're gonna allow this to go over the project and just pull through and just give it a bit of slack. You may wanna practice this a bit and then just finish your double crochet as you normally do. And this is just resting right in the front. Now you just may need to move this a little bit because you have the first one, which is this, is this is gonna count as the first one. The second one is right there. So just kind of move it out of the way and double crochet the second. And now you're gonna do an extended double crochet into the first one that leaves the corner. So we wrap the hook and we come in right here. Pull through, give it a bit of slack, the same slack and then just double crochet as you normally do. That's an extended double crochet. Now, once you have this established, is that the next three spaces down here are going to be this an extended double crochet again. So you're just gonna immediately just start and do the same concept. So just skip one, two, go to the third, and do an extended double crochet down. Okay. And when you leave this one here, the double crochet is kind of hidden here. So this counts as the last one. The empty one here is the last one here. This empty one right here is the first one of this. And so you just want to move it out of the way. And if you follow this straight up, it's, it's crossing in front of the stitch that you probably want to use. You're going to get used to it. It's not that hard. It's just hard to explain. And now we're going to cross back into the first one that you jumped over. So it's all about the tension. And you create these amazing stitches by doing this. So I'll show you one more time. So you look at the next three empty ones. So one, two, and three. So you go to the third one. And do the extended double crochet. See how it's crossing over here? That's crossing into the stitch you actually wanna use. But if you wanna peel it back to prove it, there's the first one that was part of here, the second one was this one, and the one that it's in front of is the double crochet you wanna go into, or is the double crochet you wanna make, and then cross back into the first one that you skipped. So when you get to a corner, the last three stitches before the corner will just be regular double crochets You'll do your corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then you'll start out from a fresh corner again. The, th the first three are empty, and then you start crisscrossing, just like you see here. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 15. So when you come up to any corner, regardless of which one it is, the last three are going to be the double crochet. So if you think you lost your way, just make sure you got three double crochet in the end. <laughs> There's always a way to fake things, right? And this will then conclude. So then you're just gonna join it to the top of the chain three, and then I'm just gonna slip stitch to the corner to start another round. So now we're gonna move on to round number 16, and you can see you have these really cool textured pieces just like you have. So let's begin number 16. Let's begin number 16. Right where you're sitting in the corner, if you're joining new color, just make sure you start in the corner. Just sing, uh, chain one, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So that's your corners, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Simply apply one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the next corner, do your corners, and then do this all the way around. This is round number 16. I'm coming up to the end of number 16. Going right to the very end, the corner is already done and you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. In my case, I'm just gonna slip stitch to the next corner to get myself ready, but we're going to do a repeat, and I am going to do it one more time with you on camera to make sure that you understand where these crosses will come down into, and we're going to move on to round number 17 next. Round number 17 is the same as number 13, just chain three and double crochet into the corner. Chain two, 
and double crochet twice more. So your corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Simply apply one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the next corner, turn your corner, and maybe at the end of the round. This is number 17. I'm coming up to the end of number 17, and it's just a double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. And once you have that done, you're just going to slip stitch to the first chain three. I'm going to slip stitch to the next chain two to get ready. If you want to change colors, you can. And now we're going to do number 18. 18 is another single crochet round. So just chain up one and do one single crochet, chain two and one single crochet. So your corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Simply apply one single crochet in each stitch. Do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number 18 in a moment. So I'm coming all the way around here and just another nice easy single crochet round. So you can see that not all the rounds are really that mentally hard. They just, as a matter of just building. So I'm going to slip stitch myself to the corner. If you'd like to change the color, then that's where you're gonna start. And then we're going to repeat doing this crisscross in the next round here of round number 19. If you'd like to know the stitch counts, it is available on the pattern to you. You're going to notice is that we have a certain amount of crisscrosses that happened last time. We're going to be increasing by four crisscrosses per side from what you had before. If that helps you to know that, you'll see that on the pattern as well. So we're going to begin and you're going to do it like how we did before exactly. So you're going to chain three and put in a double crochet, chain two and two double crochet in. So like before, we want to put in three double crochets that will sit by themselves. If you're not sure where the first one is, see the legs of the stitch, the top of it is right here. So the first three will be a double crochet. So we have one, two and three so we're going to come below this section right here so we have the first one that leaves the corner the next one and the next one and it's the third one right here is where you're going to do the crisscross that will come down so it'll be an extended double crochet right there pull it up okay you're going to skip the one that is sitting in front of so the one that it's crossing over is the stitch you want you just move it out of the way, double crochet, and then cross back into the very first one that leaves the corner. Okay, so that counts as the one that is sitting in front of here. So this will be the next one that will be left empty. So we, this will be the next double crochet when we get there. However, we have to come back down and skip and go one, two, and three. So you're gonna come back here Extended double crochet. Okay, you're skipping the two ones that you should. And then cross back. It's all about consistency for the, the length of these. Okay, let's do one more. So I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna skip one, two, and three. We're going to move that out of the way and then come it back in. And you will notice, and it's by design, that when I did it, the crisscrosses will line exactly over top of each other. Okay, so that helps you to know you're doing it right. And if it's not and you're off by one, you know, fake it, make it or fake it, right? So you're gonna come all the way to the next side. The last three before you go into the corner will be three double crochet like it is here. Your corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you will be doing that all the way around. So I'll meet you on the way back around in just a moment. So I'm coming back around, and it can be any corner too. Going into it is three, M or three double crochets after you've done the last extended double crochet crisscross, and then just join it to the top. So this is technically the end of a 15th round. So what you wanna do is that you want to um, slip stitch yourself to the corner and let's talk about your repeating because um, you're going to want to, to do this next. 
So you're just gonna chain one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and then one single crochet in the tops of each one of these stitches all the way across. Your corners will be two to uh, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. You'll do this all the way around. This is round number 19. So this is technically the end of a repeat. So we're just doing tech editing, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, and I've noticed here that the diagram is showing that this is a single crochet round. It's technically incorrect. It should be the round number 15, and so it should be the crisscross round. So I'll have to correct that for you. So you'll see that uh, already corrected in your pattern. So what's gonna happen is that after you've done the round number 16, as I've just explained to you in the last uh, segment we are going to then go back to rounds number 13 14 and 15 so you're going to end on a crisscross round so you'll finish the crisscross before you then start our rounds number 24 and then finish with number 25 for this particular week so let's uh, begin and so do your repeat one more time finish on on a 15th round and i'll see you on number 24 in a moment let's start round number 24 i'm already in the corner so just chain up one and apply a single crochet, sorry, a half double crochet, chain two and one half double crochet. So each one of the stitches all the way across is going to be one half double crochet each. Your corners will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. This will be round number 24. Please meet me at the end of the round in just a moment. And coming up to the end of number 24, applying one half double crochet in each right to the very end. And then I'm just going to join it to the top of the first half double crochet that I started with. I'm now going to slip stitch myself to the corner. And we're going to do our last round of the week. In your case, you'll have three sets of these that you'll see. And in the last round, number 25, that's our final. To start number 25, you're going to chain one and apply one extended single crochet into the corner. So just going in, pull through, pull through just one, and then pull through two chain two and do another one of those. So going in, pull through, pull through one, and pull through two. It's an extended single crochet. So that'll be your corners of one extended single crochet, chain two, one extended single crochet. The remaining of the stitches all the way around then will just be a back post double crochet. It's my signature look of framing up the texture that you just created. And so you'll do this on all the rest of the stitches. You'll do your corners and then meet me back here in a moment to finish off this round today. So I'm coming all the way around on round number 25. It's the last one of the day. And I'm just working all the stitches. You've already got your corner started and finished. So just slip stitch it to the top of the first extended single crochet. And in my case, I'm just gonna slip stitch and be into the corner to get ready for the next time around. So I'll see you on week number three as we continue this journey. And so far, so good and we'll see you again another time. But by now, have a good one. So that's it for week number two. We're gonna see you on week number three as we continue the journey. In week number three, we have a stitch that I created for myself, and I call it the crossing bridge stitch. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there in week number three. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.